An update now on that breaking news that we first reported at 4 this afternoon, the emotional reaction to the 38-year prison sentence for Drew Peterson, who's been convicted of killing his third wife, Kathleen Savio. The sentence brought a scream of innocence from Peterson himself. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte tonight live outside the Will County Courthouse. Sarah. Well, Kathy, every, as with every sentencing, the defendant has a chance to address the court, and that is exactly what Drew Peterson did, and he did not disappoint. He took the witness stand, and in the first thing out of his mouth, he screamed into the microphone with a look of rage on his face and looked directly at Kathleen Savio's family and said, I did not kill Kathleen. Sue, Sa Sue Doman, who is Kathleen Savio's sister, yelled back, yes, you did. Then Drew Peterson went on for several minutes blaming everybody but himself. You're a cold-blooded murderer, and I'll stare you down till I die. No holding back, Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow had some choice words for Drew Peterson, and the former Bolingbroke cop dished out the same before Judge Edward Bermilla handed down the former Bolingbroke cop's 38-year sentence. In what appeared to be years of pent-up frustration, not only did Peterson yell he didn't kill Kathleen Savio, but he called everyone liars, including Savio and his fourth wife, Stacy Peterson. When he blurred out that he didn't kill Kathleen, it, it almost scared me to death. I had to react. I had to defend my sister for the truth. Sue Savio Doman was asked to leave the courtroom. Her brother Henry was also asked to leave after he verbally responded to one of Peterson's comments on the witness stand. Throughout Peterson's statement, he addressed Glasgow specifically, saying at one point, quote, I'll never forget what you've done here. We all got an opportunity to see a psychopath reveal himself in open court. Peterson wrapped up his emotional statement by saying, quote, now it's time to sentence an innocent man to life of hardship and abuse in prison. And I've never seen a more pathetic display than today uh, saying I'm not asking for sympathy and then turning to the judge and asking for th sympathy. I mean, it was pathetic. Now, before Drew Sp Peterson spoke, Kathleen Savio's two sister and brother also gave victim impact statements in court. Both of Kathleen Savio's sisters say they just can't stop thinking about how Kathleen suffered at the time of the murder. Now, unfortunately, this is not ending for the Savio family because Drew Peterson plans on appealing. Live in Joliet at the Will County Courthouse, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Kathy Allen, back to you. All right, Sarah, and let's get more about that. Let's go to ABC 7's Ruby Bates while Ruby has the reaction from the Peterson defense team. Ruby. Well, Alan, certainly it was a very dramatic moment at the end of the sentencing hearing. Forty minutes Drew Peterson spent on the witness stand, a place he did not visit when he was actually on trial earlier last year. Now, he simultaneously, as you said and you heard, he simultaneously asked for really no sympathy from anyone, but then he turned around and asked the judge for a lenient sentence. He said that he was portrayed over the last five and a half years in the media as a monster when what he was trying to do was use comedy and flippancy simply to deal with his situation. That's what he said. He even acknowledged that he behaved obnoxiously and after the sentence came down his lawyer suggested there is indeed plenty of room for an appeal. Ask yourself how you would feel if you didn't do anything. They changed the rules to convict you. They changed the evidence. In this case they brought in paid experts to redo all autopsies to say what they wanted. They changed everything. How would you feel if you were railroaded? I, I think the outburst was because he has told them continuously that he wasn't responsible for anything that occurred with Kathy. And later on, we heard from uh, Joel Brodsky, that was Peterson's former lead attorney. We caught up with him. He said that he felt very sorry for Drew Peterson. He will be spending the next 34 years in prison of his 38-year sentence. And he said, Brodsky said, he thinks that Peterson will do actually okay for that time in prison. And if he lives that long, he'll get out when he's 93 years of age. Reporting live from Joliet, Ruby Bagewell, ABC 7 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Ruby, let's see how it came to this day. This is a legal saga that began when Drew Peterson's third wife, Kathleen Savio, was found in that dry bathtub in March of 2004. Her death at that time ruled an accident. Then in October of 2007, Peterson's fourth wife, Stacy, went missing. Peterson claimed that she ran off with another man. A month later, Kathleen Savio's body was exhumed as police were still searching for Stacy. Savio's death case was reopened. A new coroner ruled homicide. 
In May of 2009, Peterson indicted and arrested in his third wife's death, and then the jury finding him guilty of that murder last September. Today, sentenced to 38 years in prison. Should people be able to carry guns on public transportation in Chicago? Tonight, the head of the CTA responds to the